you guys welcome to my channel my name is summer how is everybody doing uh guys this is gonna be like my first ever coloring book video i'm super excited i have been watching i think it's called color tube for like the past month so i thought i would kind of turn this channel like lean it towards since it, I, it is my planner channel i thought maybe i could just do some coloring videos and do something fun and kind of see where it goes so hello here i am today's video is going to be a haul of everything i've purchased in november guys um i have been coloring for many many years uh since i was a little kid um but as for adult coloring i think it's been since 2014 but you know like it's adult coloring where you're like like have a conscience and you're not coloring just because you're a little kid so <laughs> um I remember my husband got me my first ever adult coloring book and then from there things just kind of took off. My sisters love to color, my mom loves to color, and we all just kind of color together when we kind of like feel like it, if that makes sense. So um, then I stopped coloring a lot. I would color kind of just when I felt like it. I'm more of a paper craft girl. Plannering is my jam. I love designing stickers, printing, cutting stickers on silhouette. I love to do design on the computer in my artsy fam fam life um but uh i have been recently uh, to young guys i have been recently led to coloring um i've been coloring a lot these past couple months um it's a great escape for me guys don't get me wrong jesus is my ultimate escape but um you know i really do believe god brought this into my life to help me get some clearance clearance clearing of the mind i love to color watch tv or just i've colored sitting there watching youtube videos other other coloring videos um coloring hauls coloring book collection videos everything coloring <laughs> has been my jam my dad recently passed away guys so the whole time he was in the hospital uh he got covid the whole time he was in the hospital i was coloring it was a great escape um, and the whole time, uh, you know, since he's passed, I've been coloring my heart away. It's been a month since he's passed and a month he was in the hospital. So it's been a crazy past couple months, but I have really enjoyed this. It has been very comforting to me and I do believe it's a godsend. So I want to show you guys all the stuff that I've bought in the month of November. Um, and I'm just going to go on ahead and get started. So I don't know if I should show this first. I think the first thing I'm going to show are these. Um, I kind of have this cheapo Dollar Tree uh, bin here. And then I shoved this organizer that I had for makeup brushes in here. Um, <laughs> I'm all, and then we got, you know, a Sonic character. My kids were in here. I have two toddlers, guys. I have a four-year-old and a two, or a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Actually, now my four-year-old turned five uh, in October. And we're now on December 1st. Today is December 1st. Um, but you guys, I went on ahead and went to Target. I had been coloring before I went to Target. This was about a month ago. So it was on November. I checked the Target order and it was on November 8th. Um, and I went to Target and I saw these uh, super tip. I saw them at Walmart, actually, the Crayola super tip markers. And I had remembered that I had had markers similar to this, like water-based, you know, like regular coloring markers. Um, from a brand called Sargent. I got them at Hobby Lobby, but now you know they're years old. I have um, other water-based markers. I have the Statler uh, double-tipped markers. And, uh, oh, I have to yawn, guys. I'm pregnant. I am 26 weeks pregnant, so 26 and some days pregnant, so bear with me if I'm heavy breather or talking crazy. Um, but I went on ahead and picked these up because my sergeant markers are definitely dead already. Um, I think now they're in my kids' mis miscellaneous marker bin because <laughs> I just kind of gave up on them. I'll, I'll probably check them out and look at them and see how they're doing. Um, pull them out, <laughs> their coloring stuff. And then my, even my Stettler markers, or I don't know how to say it, Stettler, I don't know how to pronounce them. They're kind of giving out on me. So I got the 50 pack of markers and I kind of separated them. I put purples and pinks here, blues and greens, and then red, oranges, yellows, and grays and browns in here. 
And I like this container because what I do when I'm working on a coloring sheet, which I currently am, um, I will put these here. So there's my color. And then the color that I have already used in the page, I will throw down here. And then if I need to access that color again, I will roll them out. And when I'm finished with the coloring page, I'll just toss them back in here. So I don't, I don't like mixing up my markers. I never have, never will. Um, I just don't like that feeling. Um, I mean, I'll mix markers that I want to be mixed, but I like to keep all my coloring utensils separate, but I like them in bins like this so I could sit there and color. I have my color pencils like in a color pencil. I'll show you guys. I have it right here, actually. I have them like in a color pencil container like this, um, in which I don't mind for those, but as for markers, I kind of like to see them grab them or I like them in a big bag or whatever. So I got these, point is, is I got these guys. I got them for like seven bucks. Um, so I'm very excited, 50 colors. I definitely have my eye on the 100 color set from on Amazon. So I'm telling my husband for Christmas, I want the 120 uh, set on Amazon because it comes with 20 silly scent markers. I don't know if the colors are the same or not, but so that this was part of the haul. So beginning part of the haul, that same day, guys, I did purchase um, two coloring books. So I went on ahead and purchased this coloring book at Target that day. It's called Good Tidings at Christmas. Um, I don't think it's by anyone. I think it's just by this coloring faith brand or Zondervan, excuse me, but it was $14.99, but they were 20% off. I'm kind of keeping track of what I've got done in here. I have a sticky note on the back of each of my coloring books, um, just so I can kind of know which ones I'm using. Um, so, cause like I said, I'm a planner girl and I like to use my sticky notes. Uh, I've already colored in here. I'm not going to show those off too much because I want to show them off in the next video. But this coloring book, I really liked it because it has lots of scripture. Um, and then it has kind of like that gold in it. But it's not like actual metallic gold in it. It's just like printed in the paper if I could say any way or any less. It's not like my other gold coloring book. I have an actual like gold coloring book where it's like a different layer of like a foil. This is more of like a foiled design printed in the book. It's not like layered on top, if that makes sense. So it's got lots of fun Christmas. It's got like wallpaper art. I don't want to say these are necessarily uh, patterns, but it's got lots of cool stuff in here, guys. And then um, what I really like about it, like I said, is the scripture but it has pictures uh, that are faith-based about Jesus. So I really like that. I know there's one, yeah, like with the three kings and then like the manger setting, uh, the shepherd men, the angels. And then the other ones I've colored in here, I'll give you a little sneak, sneaky peeky. Um, so if you definitely wanna see what I've colored in here, watch the next video which is my november finished coloring pages but i really like this one it was 20 percent off so it came out to like 12 something or something like that i don't know what it came out to but <laughs> i was very excited to get it i've colored two pages in here so far but i'm really enjoying this book um it's not my favorite uh to color because i realized as much as i love the zen doodling color i realized when i've come to color i want something more that i can straight color just fine. I'm a straight color girl. I'm not a shader. I'm not all that stuff. So this is fun. But with all that's been going on in my brain and in my life lately, um, I haven't been wanting to sit here and work on such difficult pages, which I will. It just hasn't been as fun for me as I thought. But I really do enjoy the pages I've colored in here. And I do see myself reaching this often in the future because I'm not a person that likes to buy coloring books and let them sit. I'm not that person. Like I want to use them and we'll see what happens because I recently went to Dollar Tree and you'll see the damage I did there. But so this is definitely an amazing find that I found. And then that same day I went on ahead and picked up this one. I had saw it on another color YouTubers 
page and I grabbed this one for sure because I was like this is the one I'm getting this is the one I came to Target for but then that's when I saw this one and I was like oh my gosh it has Jesus in it I gotta get this one too so I went on ahead and got it I'm never impulsive like that when it comes to books and I was like my husband's gonna kill me I spent $24 on coloring books and I got the $7 markers but <laughs> my husband's not gonna kill me guys you know just a wife thing and I was like oh my gosh so I really love this coloring book I love that it has like this tester page on the back and there's lots of fun images in here. I'm sure you've seen this if you watch color videos on YouTube. Guys, this one has been used and abused by me. All I can say is I don't, I can't flip any more in the book because basically this whole first half that is gapped has been colored already. I got a marker in there right now because uh, I'm working on a page. I need to finish that page probably tonight if I want to stay up till three o'clock in the morning <laughs> but if I don't I definitely will get it done tomorrow and uh yeah so I'm definitely you're gonna see all the finished coloring pages I've done this has been my most colored in book I think I might have another one that beat it beaded it beaded it that beat it so yes I went on ahead and got this at Target and then I picked these up at Walmart um it is a pen and gear gel stick pens set. Um, it's 48 pens. If you can see, some pens are kind of like lowered in there because um, those are the ones I used on the page. I haven't brought them back up yet, but I didn't really like these, if I can be honest. Um, I enjoyed the metallic ones. I enjoyed the glitter ones and the neon ones and the pastel ones, but the quick dry inks, because it comes with 24 quick dries, I did not enjoy them at all. They were just very um, fussy to work with. So that's why I went on ahead and I went on a gel pen search. I was gonna buy some at Hobby Lobby, but I was like, no, I have 48 gel pens at home because Hobby Lobby was having a sale on their gel pens. And I was like, this is $40 uh, for the gel pen set. I don't wanna spend $20 on some gel pens that I'm scared that aren't, I'm not even gonna like. So. I was like, I'm just gonna stick with my pen and gear ones that I have. And then when I looked over, I saw these guys at Hobby Lobby and they are the fine liner markers. I really liked them a lot because I noticed like that my hands, because I've been coloring a lot more and I this finger is kind of like, when I'm holding a pen, I color like this. So this finger kind of gets like the weight of the pen and I color hard sometimes. And like it was starting to blister on my finger and color pencils were really hurting me and the gel pens were hurting me to use. These gel pens were hurting my fingers. And I was like, ugh, I need to get something that's, when I saw this, I was like, maybe that's gonna be really comfortable to color in. Um, So I got these and I really enjoyed them, guys. They're fine liner markers. And I thought, I don't really have any fine liners. I have my Bic fine liner markers. Um, and I actually have, I have fine liners, okay? I just didn't have any set. I guess I did have fine liners. I'm lying to you guys. I have my Bic ones. But I just wanted to get them, okay? Um, and they were $19.99 at 50% off that day. So I got them for 10 bucks. And it's, when I say fine, they are fine liners. They are 0.4 millimeters. So I use them to color a bigger page, which you'll see that page uh, that I colored. And I thought, hmm, maybe you should use this for a more detailed book. So definitely this will be probably one of the ones. I like them because they're water-based, so they won't seep through to the other side of the page. So this is definitely going to be for very, very, very detailed coloring books, very intricate designs. Not going to use these very often. Um, but I guess I had to learn the hard way and that same day I went on ahead and I was walking through the aisles at Hobby Lobby and I went to paper studio because like I said I'm a planner girl so I had to go check out my paper crafts because that day I had to get something to kind of want I wanted to do a paper crafting activity to reorganize my planner stickers and I turned and paper studio was also 50% off that day and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I gotta get that which is frustrating. I paid $15 for this 48 
gel pen set. I paid $15 for this. And then this one was $12.99 at 50% off. So I ended up paying like $6.50 for this one. So I paid double the price for this one. And these 24 of these are not going to be my favorite. I'm still going to use them. Still going to get love from me because I can't do that to, you know, any type of pen set. But definitely this, if I'm going to buy more colored gel pens that are not on Amazon because I want to get some Amazon gel pens that are glitter gel pens because I've discovered I really like glitter gel pens. Um, I definitely will uh, get these ones again. So this is really nice. Uh, it comes with glitter, metallic, pastel, and neons. So we got our neons, our pastels, and they are very juicy, inky. The ink is definitely runs out on these a lot. Um, I noticed when I was using them, uh, and then these are the metallic, uh, but I don't care. I really enjoyed these a lot. And I thought for six bucks, Hey, this is a still of a deal. So I picked them up and then these are the glitter ones. I have them bent over like that because I was using them on a, um, page. As you can see this yellow one, it's got like way less ink than all the other ones. Yeah. So, uh, these were amazing guys. I love that they have their little case and that they can live happily in here, safe, snug, and sound for $6. Go check out your local Hobby Lobby guys. These are amazing. And then after that, I'm trying to kind of go in order on how I purchased these items. Um, I went on ahead. We went, my husband and I went to Michael's because he wanted to look at some stuff for like leather making and whatnot. And I just hadn't gone to Michael's in a forever and a day. So I wanted to go cause, um, new year's coming up and I needed a new planner. So I wanted to go look at planners. Um, and guys, look, I found this. I had seen this in Walmart. Did I buy it? No. Did I want to buy it? Yes. It's $12.99. It's a magazine. A coloring book magazine and I loved it at Walmart I never bought it at Walmart because that day I said no I'm gonna get some gel pens um keep in mind these are purchased guys like you know two weeks apart whatever all this stuff I'm like I'm spending way too much money on this coloring stuff by this point I've probably already spent $30 on it this month like what am I doing <laughs> so um I picked up this magazine and if you're on the color tube, if you watch a lot of coloring YouTube videos, I'm sure you've already seen this. I just thought the pictures in here were gorgeous, you guys. Um, so there's just tons of different designs. I have colored, um, I have colored so much in here already, guys. Uh, so much stuff in here already. Um, I'm trying to not show you guys what I've colored. I've colored so much stuff in here. There's just a lot of different artists in here. So I really enjoyed this book. I had to stop because I said I want, because my goal is to finish this one by the end of the December. Don't know if I'll do it, but it's definitely a goal for me because I really did enjoy this one. And um, I don't know, this one's just really fun for me to color in. So uh, this one, I was like, I, were, I think I colored like, 10 pages in here and I was like stop summer you gotta stop because you need to focus on your other Christmas coloring books so I had to stop um but this one guys I have been very much enjoying it this one has been super fun for me uh and yeah so I'm gonna go on ahead and show you guys what else I purchased and then in order guys um then yesterday we went to Dollar Tree should I have gone to Dollar Tree? No. Did I go to Dollar Tree? Yes, I sure did. Okay, I sure did go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a dangerous place for me. Um, And we went to look for Christmas coloring books for my kids. My kids love to color. And we went to go get Christmas coloring books for them. And I walked out of Dollar Tree, okay? with this for myself. Oh yeah, and I wanted to go to Dollar Tree to get some puzzles for my niece 
because Christmas is coming up because she asked me for puzzles and coloring books and all the fun things. So uh, I got her a rainbow high coloring book and some puzzles so that way I can invest in cool coloring books on Amazon for her because she said she wanted coloring books like her Auntie Summer because she definitely loves to color like I do. So then I went to the coloring book section, of course, and then I saw the adult coloring books and everything's a dollar and my husband, I'm like, babe, let me only get like one or two. And he's like, babe, get more. He's probably being super nice to me because I've been an emotional wreck lately. <laughs> but I was like, okay, babe, I'll just do it. And then I just kept getting, grabbing more and grabbing more. And I'm like, Jake, I have to get these. And then he was like, okay, you oh, that's totally okay if you want them. So I spent $8 on coloring books there. Don't judge me, please. So I saw this one. It's called Day Trip. I thought it was super cute. Actually, I saw this one first, but I'll show you guys this one. So I thought this one was so pretty because it's just showing you different places that they go on day trip. But the page is so cheap, like it kind of crossed over the ink, but that doesn't really bother me. I had recently purchased, but it wasn't in November. It was like in October, the beginning of October. Um, a coloring book called Fragile Worlds. It's like, I don't know if you guys have seen like those Anamorphia books or something. I don't know what they're called. Um, but I really enjoyed that kind of deal. But I noticed as I would color on the following page, the ink would go from the one page to the next, uh, which is not something exciting for me, but it doesn't really bother me because I'm not a coloring book perfectionist person. I can't say I won't change over time, but I'm not really a person that cares for things to look perfect i'd rather i'm coloring because it's fun and because i want to do it so this doesn't really bother me that it crossed over when i saw it yeah i was kind of bummed but then i was just like who cares it's a dollar so as you can see like the ink kind of transferred over a bit but it doesn't really bother me i just thought this was so much fun because it's literally what the book is kind of called like a day trip and this is the page that sold me on it because I can't wait to color this thinking about my sons. So I like to color intricate pages like this. I do not like to color um, other pages. I don't know what that symbol means. I hate that it has to be on the back of this paper. <sighs> but point is, is that um, I just can't wait to color in this book. Very cheap Dollar Tree paper. I don't mind using colored pencils at all. Colored pencils don't scare me. I know they scare a lot of other coloring people because probably they watch coloring YouTube videos all the time. And I'm just not that person that gets scared of colored pencils. I'm a straight colorer. If it comes out streaky, I really don't care. I just love to color and that's what I'm here for is to color. So then I saw this one called Winter Season. I liked it because it wasn't a Christmas one. It was like a winter one. So I'm sure there's Christmas stuff in here, but it's more winter based than anything. So I can color this one. You know, it's got those ultra intricate designs too, but I can color this one in the winter time. I got the whole winter season to just enjoy this book. And these don't have a lot of pages at all. I wonder if they were from a different store because it says $3.95. So I'm wondering if they got these from a different store, which actually if these were $3.95, these were freaking expensive for how cheap they feel. So moving on, I got this one. I saw these on Lisa's, I don't know if it was on Lisa's Coloring Corner or someone else. I was watching their coloring book collection videos and I saw this one, I saw these on their deal and this is really what I wanted to look for, the color by numbers. I'm not a color by number person. I watch a lot of YouTubers of color in the coloring community and I um, see that so many use these color by number books. It gives me stress. I thought, <laughs> I don't know what I would do if all my coloring books were a book telling me how to color my pictures, I love to use my own colors, my own imagination. But then as I watched them more and more, I was like, I want to go get one from Dollar Tree and see what it feels like. I said I was just going to get one or two. And then I ended up getting tons. Okay. Because I was like, these pictures are so cute. I would love to color that. And I would love to color that. So I just, I just, 
So I just thought, okay, I'm just going to get these, um, the ones that I got, and I'm not going to buy any more color by number books, okay? I don't need them. <clears throat> There's so many other coloring books I'd rather get uh, to, you know, to use. So these color by number books are really nice because they're like one-sided, but you got like the color uh, code on the page, but it's the same throughout the whole book. So you don't really got to stress. Um, this is the kickback and color by number relax. So, and then it says to music cause you could download music. It's just got lots of fun pages. I thought this would be nice. Kind of all year round. There's pages that you can color and enjoy and whatnot. So I went on ahead and picked up this one. And then I saw the volume two. Well, I saw the volume two and then I found the first one because I realized that they were volumes. Um, so I picked up this one. This is the second book of that one. And there's lots of fun stuff. So I'm super excited to color in these. I like that they're like single sided in a way because then I can use like permanent markers, gel pens. I can use basically whatever I want in here and not stress about using color pencils because I recently I have loved to color in markers, but then I go through seasons where color pencils are my jam. So I really was excited about these. And then I got the kickback in color by number floral. So I love to color flowers, you guys. And these just looked very exciting um, to color in. So I'm super excited about this one. Um, and I'm super excited to color in it. If you guys want to see flip throughs of any of these, please let me know. And I do not mind. I wanted to film a flip through of another book that I got, which I'm going to. Um, so go on ahead and stay tuned for that. I'll show you guys the book that I'm going to film a flip through of. And then, yeah, so <laughs> go on ahead and stay tuned, like I said. And then... I have the kickback and color by number animals book. So I did go on ahead and pick this one up too. This one looked like so much fun. This one is my favorite um, out of all the color by number books that I got. I really do enjoy coloring um, animals. It's like one of my favorite things to color. So I really enjoyed this. I'm not a realistic coloring person. All my coloring pages look like that. So yes. And then I saw this one, adult coloring patterns. This is not a color by number, but they are single sided and the pages don't feel so bad. Definitely cheap paper, but they're not, I don't think they meant patterns as in patterns. I was thinking patterns as in like real, like, you know, patterns, like coloring book patterns, like coloring patterns. If you're a color two person, you know what I'm talking about? Like patterns, more pattern looking things. Patterns, come on guys, just kidding. Um, and then I realized, I think what they mean by patterns is that everything has like that Zen doodle kind of look to it. So this is definitely something I'll have fun with uh, when I'm not uh, stressing in the Christmas season to get my Joanna's coloring book done. So for a dollar, I thought that was great because it was single sided and I said, I'm not gonna pass up a single sided coloring book. A Dollar Tree because I'm sick in the head. And then this is a real patterns book. This is the kind of patterns I thought this was going to be, but then it ended up being more Zen Doodle pattern type deal. Uh, I love patterns, guys. I love to color patterns. So I thought this would be so much fun to color. I've been recently loving patterns a lot. So I did go on ahead and pick this guy up. And then, guys, today I got two coloring books. I'm all, I'm all, not that I needed any more. Um, today I got two coloring books in the mail. So I did go on ahead and pick up this coloring book. Uh, it's by Coloring Book Cafe. It's my first ever. Sorry for the glare, guys. I hope the glare's not there the whole video. I have a ring light hooked up. Um, <laughs> but I got this coloring book cafe Christmas, um, a cozy Christmas adult coloring book. 
And I just, I, I signed up for the email of them because someone said, if you sign up for the emails of Coloring Book Cafe here on YouTube, they said you'll get free coloring pages that they'll send to your email and you can also, um, they'll give you like coupons for 50% off books. So that's exactly what I got. I got the email telling me, hey, we got a new coloring book out. It's 50% off. So I picked this guy up for $3.99 and guys, it's gorgeous. The paper feels like nice. It feels okay. I don't know what good or bad a coloring paper feels like. Definitely, I can tell the difference between this one and the Dollar Tree books. But there's lots of fun sheets in here. I am going to film a full fit, flip through of this book, but I am super excited to color this. It definitely is a cozy coloring book. Um, So it is by the Coloring Book Cafe. It is my first coloring book cafe book, and I am super excited for it. And then the other book that came in the mail today was this one. It's called 50 Winter Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. I guess now it's my turn to say her name on one of my videos, huh guys? So um, I went on ahead and picked this guy up. I, I'm so excited for this. This is one of the ones I had been wanting to get because uh, I didn't want to get Christmas themed because since I already have a couple Christmas books, I wanted to focus on that one and then I got this one. So I thought I want to get something that's winter more than anything else and not Christmas. Um, so I love that it just has all the different, you know, miniature, simple pictures. I love coloring animals, like I said, and I love cutesy stuff. So I did get this. And then the last thing, my twin sister and I went to Walmart today, guys. And let's just say, I found a, something that is so exciting. Um, I found this guy. It's a huge Sharpie set. It comes with 30 markers, 18 fine point, 13 ultra fine point, and a new mystery mm, Sharpie marker. And it says it contains one of three new colors. And it's cool because you can spin it like a game. Isn't that kind of cool? That you could spin your sharpies in here so um this was twelve dollars for 30 markers and this was a steal so check out your guys's local walmart's i think this is a holiday special um check out your guys's walmart guys that is a great deal of twelve dollars for 30 sharpies you're paying you know less than 50 cents for these sharpies so that will be the conclusion of my video, you guys. This was a huge, 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 huge haul. Huge haul, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Do not forget that at the end of everything, guys, it's just going to be you and Jesus. I pray that God blesses you. I pray that you enjoyed this first coloring video. If you did, comment what was your favorite thing. And if you want to see a flip of anything or a review on how anything works or me coloring in any of these books, let me know. I probably won't film coloring for a bit because I'm pregnant and I have two toddlers. But I definitely want to be doing finished coloring pages or anything. But if it's something simple, I do not mind filming a coloring video. I just need to figure it out a bit, guys. But let me know what your favorite thing was. I need to stop. This is too much fun. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.